You're watching Mental Health with Marcy, and I'm Marcy. In today's video, we are going to talk about 10 things I can't live without. And so this is going to exclude, you know, family members, significant others, dogs, food, water, internet, phone, that kind of stuff, um, because obviously I can't live without those. Of course I can't live without my puppy dogs. I mean, you know they're up here. If you've seen my videos, you've probably seen them dog bombing all of my all over my videos but yeah I'm gonna get into 10 things I can't live without um and yeah this is just a fun fun list of different things different products and things that I love and um yeah really cherish so I hope you find this interesting but let us get into our countdown let's get into item number 10. This is item number 10, my Hello Kitty car pillow. And so this is actually a headrest pillow. And so it will, um, you'll see it'll buckle together around the headrest. And so it's got this really fluffy, soft Hello Kitty with her bow on the front. And it has a little bow and Hello Kitty on the back. And so I love these. I have these on all four of the headrests in my car. And I honestly, I can't drive without them. I, I had taken it down for some reason once and I was like, oh, why don't I have a pillow on my head? Does everyone drive like this? And so I just think it's really funny that I have to have these um, just in order to drive. But I love them and I have all four of them. So anyone who comes in my car gets a little pillow to lay on when they're driving. Let's get in to number nine. And this is number nine, a super fun and exciting laptop stand. And so it has these little adjustable um, things right here. So you can have it um, shorter or taller. You can just stack your laptop or your monitor or really anything. It's just a really handy stand. Again, I don't know if I mentioned nothing is sponsored in this video. I just like these products. Um, but this laptop stand, I have a ton of them. Um, my dad has a bunch of them. We really like them. And so the reason that I find it's so helpful is just especially when you're looking at your laptop that you're not like having to bend your neck down to look at the screen or at any of your monitors. And so by being able to look at things at eye level, it's a lot more ergonomic and just better for your neck because I experience a lot of neck pain. And so that's just something, a trick that I've used is just making sure everything is up high enough so that I'm not like bending or that's up too high that I'm not like stretching my neck too much because I sit at the computer for like eight, nine hours a day. And so it is exhausting. And so that is why we need lots of laptop stands. And these are really affordable. You can get any lots of different kinds, not specifically this one, but just laptop stands in general, I would highly, highly recommend. Let's get in to number eight. Number eight of things I can't live without is my yoga mat. And so I have a number of yoga mats. If you saw my what I got for Christmas video, this is my new yoga mat. It is beautiful. It obviously unrolls and is so pretty. And it's got, it happens to be double-sided. So it's really pretty. Um, but I have a number of yoga mats and I just really love doing yoga. I have a second channel, Yoga with Marcy, if you haven't checked it out. Um, but yeah, this is a must for me and also a good quality yoga mat, if I will mention that. Um, I've had um, cheaper yoga mats before and I just really didn't like them. And so by having a good, even if it's a little more expensive, investing in a good quality yoga mat is super important in my opinion if you wanna try yoga, if you're trying something in the new year. I know I said in my previous video, no New Year's resolutions, but I do highly recommend yoga if you like it and want to try it. It's great. So let us get into number seven. And number seven of things I can't live without is my water cup. And this is actually a relatively new one. It's so shiny. I wonder if the light would pick it up. It's so shiny. I love it so much. Um, but just in general, I have, it doesn't have to be this one, but I have a number of water cups that if I don't have my water in a nice reusable cup like this with a 
silicone straw, I won't drink as much water. And I know I'd said I wasn't going to bring up water um, in this video, but this is definitely what helps me get through actually drinking water. If you ever have any difficulties drinking water, someone with a mental health condition, definitely highly recommend getting any kind of water cup. Um, just getting one that you like um, and just obviously keeping it clean, but it's just really helpful in my opinion just for making me drink more water and it's so shiny. So I like this. Let us get into number six. And number six is my antidepressants. I don't have anything to show you just because I'm not going to show my prescription pill bottles on camera. But um, yes, antidepressants are a must for me, something I can't live without. Um, if anyone has been on any kind of antidepressants throughout their journey, of course, you don't have to be on them forever necessarily. Obviously, speak to your therapist, psychiatrist, doctors, mental health professionals to figure out the right method for you. They're not the right solution for everyone. But for me, they really help with my anxiety and depression. And so I um, am really glad that I'm on them. I'm really glad that they're available and that they help me um, feel better. So yeah, antidepressants are definitely a must have for me and definitely something I can't live without. So let's get into number five. Number five on my list of things I can't live without is my Nespresso milk frother. And if you saw my uh, decluttering and reorganizing tea video, you will know how much I love this thing. I just love making lattes in it. And I don't um, drink coffee, but I drink chai, tea, and matcha lattes a lot. So it's really, really helpful because it just has um, this automatic spinner thing in there. And then you can take it out. It's magnetic. And then you can just froth your milk in there has different lines and then it just has this little thing that you can do it cold or hot and then you just plug it in to the wall and it frosts your milk for you and makes amazing lattes so I really love it um it's probably kind of dirty just looking at it on camera but that's okay because I use it a lot and so I'm always constantly washing it and so I'm sure it was just used today so yeah, this is, again, nothing is sponsored in this video. I just really like this product. Another YouTuber had recommended it, and I love it. And I cannot go without my lattes now, especially in the mornings um, on weekdays. So this is a must-have. Let us get into number four. As you may know from my previous tea video, I love drinking tea. And so this electric tea kettle is a must coming in at number four. And so it just has this little thing very similar to the milk frother that plugs in to the wall. And then you just um, fill up the water. It has a little thing on the side here. You just push this down. It'll stay. It'll heat up your, um, your water for your tea. And then the best part about it is it shuts off once it's done. Because fun fact, I'm not allowed to use regular tea kettles anymore. And let me explain why. So I've actually burned multiple regular tea kettles before, like to the point where the whole thing is black. It's where I turn on the tea kettle, walk away, forget about it for a couple hours, and the whole thing is black because all the water evaporated and I left on the stove. That's dangerous. So don't do that. Don't be me. Uh, but I've done that with multiple tea kettles. And so they just don't whistle the ones that I had. And I'm like, why invent a tea kettle that doesn't whistle? Like, why? But anyway, you can get all different kinds of these electric tea kettles and not specifically this brand. This one works fine for me, but there's lots of different brands um, that work good. But yes, I would highly recommend a tea kettle, especially because it turns it off. Sometimes it's like you forget about it and then the water is cold, but it's I would highly recommend that over burning your tea kettle again maybe that's just a marcy problem but anyway let us get into number three we are getting high on the list now um now number coming in at number three is our bathtub tray and so if you don't know this about me i love love taking baths and i could not imagine taking baths without this. I got this a few Christmases ago for my grandma 
And so I know it's hard to see on here, but it's adjustable. If you have like a bigger bathtub, it adjusts. You can do that. It's got like a place for your cup, your phone, any kind of accessories here. I usually put my bath bombs here. And then it also has um, a spot. Oh, it comes up the other way. I did it the wrong way. But anyway, this will come up like this. So if you want to put like your phone or something or your tablet or your laptop on there, this is working well. It's all like coming apart um, on screen. But yeah, this is like super useful and honestly like one of my absolute favorite products in the entire world. If you are, now I can't close it. There we go. I got it closed. If you are a bath lover, I highly, highly recommend getting a bathtub tray. Not necessarily this one. You can get whatever one you want. But just having a tray to put your stuff on, I just absolutely love it. And it just makes my bath so much better to have, like, I can put a candle there. I can put my tea. I can put a book, my phone, whatever I want. Um, I just absolutely love it. And could not imagine, like, it really sounds a little insane. But, like, I could not imagine my life without this bathtub tray now. It is like the best, the best present I've ever gotten. So yeah, let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two is our trusty robot vacuum. And so I have dogs and they shed a lot, especially Rayleigh. She just sheds like an insane amount. And so literally... I would just not sweep for four months and wait till my dad came out to help me sweep. And it would just be piles and piles of dog hair. I have hardwood floors. And so it would just be piles and piles of dog hair. And then this baby saved me. And so absolutely highly recommend a robot vacuum. Not again, not specifically this brand. It's neither here nor there. It works fine, but um, this is kind of a more inexpensive brand. But either way, just any kind of robot vacuum if you have pets. Um, I really like, of course, it depends on the layout of your house. If you have like multiple stories or like other things that maybe make it more complicated, I can see where it might not work. But for me personally, in my relatively small house, it works great. And I just love how good it is. The only problem is you actually have to run it and you really need to run it pretty often. Again, if you have dogs that shed as much as mine do. And so that's just something where sometimes when my mental health um, is not doing well, I don't run my robot vacuum. And so the dog hair does still pile up, but I do have it. I don't really have to do much, but somehow it still can become a little bit of a chore to run it. And so while it's great, it still takes a little bit of effort um, to get it going um, just to make sure like if you need to, you know, block off any cords or things like that. Um, but again, I literally life-changing like this vacuum like again whatever the brand but like robot vacuums in general completely life-changing for someone who has dogs that shed a lot it's like made my house so much cleaner so highly highly recommend um if you have any pets that shed so let us get into the number one slot of the things i cannot live without uh without further ado let's get into it And last but not least, number one of things I can't live without, my microbladed eyebrows. And so you might not think they look amazing right now. I didn't like touch them up or put any product in them, but you will have to see what they look like before. And also this has been probably a year and a half since I've gotten them done. So they looked a lot better when I got them done immediately. But I will throw up on the screen a before picture and a picture um, when it's done. Um, so hopefully you can see that and see really the difference. My eyebrows were super thin. I was, um, constantly plucking them and I was just like really at a loss, um, of what I should do. I was just like, didn't want to fill them in every morning. And then literally having to wake up to like perfect eyebrows every morning is priceless. I know it's like, if you've never heard of microblading, it's just like making little, um, kind of like a little tattoo marks and just like filling in the eyebrow with little like semi-permanent tattoos. And so it'll last usually a couple of years up to four years or whatnot, and then kind of fade away, um, depending on how you get it done. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a very expensive process. Um, 
it doesn't take all that long, a few hours maybe at total. You do like a, um, uh, like a follow-up appointment, you know, just to make sure it's all healing well. Because it is getting like a tattoo on your face, technically, on your eyebrows. Um, but yeah, it's, I cannot, cannot express how much getting my, my eyebrows microbladed has like changed my life. It really has just made a huge difference. Sorry, I don't mean to like look away, but there's a dog. Hi, Rayleigh. Come here. She is out of frame. But looking adorable as ever. Why are you always in my videos? She doesn't know. But anyway, just wanted to say that I would, you know, if you can afford it, if it's something that you really struggle with, um, with your eyebrows, microblading, love, love it. Um, just, I can't, I can't imagine, you know, being without it. And so I will, you know, once mine kind of fade out more, I'll get them done again. But, um, yeah, it's just, you really don't need to do it very often. You know, every two to four years at most, um, depending on how your skin reacts to it. But yeah, it's just, it's just something that with my personal like eyebrow habits and having like over plucked all the years, it has been a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. So let's get into our final thoughts. So I love all of these items. Obviously, I put them on my list of the 10 things I can't live without. And I just highly would recommend um, if there's something that would make your life like so much easier, even if it's a little pricey, if you're able to get it as a gift or afford it, um, I would just highly recommend it. Um, one of those things like I was like, oh, I shouldn't, I don't need an electric tea kettle, but like I love tea and drink it all the time. And obviously I don't want to burn my house down. So it just turned out to be such a really good investment um, and has made such a difference in my life. That's what all of these products and things, I guess, microblading eyebrows is not a product, but it's a thing that happened to my face. Um, but yeah, they have been really life changing for me. Um, and so I would love to hear if you had any favorites, um, was anything surprising for you that it was in my top 10? Um, what do you, are your favorite products or just things that you have that um, you can't live without? I would love to know in the comments down below. But anyway, I hope this has been interesting and fun to watch. But thank you so much for watching and stay well, my friends.